Okay, we're going to put the SC2, the comm system, into the Schubert C5. There's two pieces. The remote that goes on the side, actually there's three pieces. The microphone that goes here, the remote that goes here, and the actual comm unit itself that goes on the back of the helmet. So let's take a look at all of those things. This is the most important part of the installation, the instructions. And it's very clear on how to do all the things that I'm about to show you, so don't neglect this. That's the remote for the side, and that will go in this orientation with the point towards the front of the helmet. That's the comm unit for the back of the helmet, and it has two antenna plug-ins and a charging port with a USB-C. So this has a chargeable battery, and the remote has a disc battery, just like the key fob on your bike or your car or whatever. It is a CR2016. So you might be able to get these at a drugstore and they give you an extra one, but when you install this one, it's a good idea to get a backup. Then there's the microphone and they give you two little boom mic covers and they also include a charging cable that is USB-A on one end and USB-C on the other. So the first thing you wanna do is install the remote on the side. <clears throat> Getting this off, and you need to get this off because this is actually the tool to get the cover on the back off. So you pull that up with your fingernail and slide it back. It's a little fiddly, but it stays in really well. Maybe two hands, I don't know. There we go. So then it, sl it slides off. There's areas in there to keep it secure here and here, and then corresponding cutouts on the inside of the cover. Now before you install it, you have to remove the tag that's preventing the battery from activating. You just slide that out, and that only matters the first time you do it. Inside here is where the disc battery is. Now I'm not sure how to get that out, and I'm not gonna try it right now. I'm just gonna leave it where it is. All right, and then this goes in basically the same way the cover came out. You start at the back, and you slide it until it clicks in, and then it's nice and sturdy. And then to get it out, you would lift up slightly and push back. See, and it pops right back out. So you wanna hear that nice firm click. Now, to get the rear cover out, <clears throat> you're gonna take the side cover that you just took off, and there's a little gap at the bottom. So you just slide this in, Upside down it works best. Instead of this way, do it this way. And just slide it in until the cover pops. And then, whoops, I just pushed it right back on. And then you can pull the cover out, okay? It's got two hooks at the top. So to put it back in, you would kind of put it in, slide it up, and then click it in. So this is actually a lot easier than it looks I'm just doing it repeatedly for your benefit. Okay, now make sure you don't lose these covers because if you ever need to remove the units to have them serviced or whatever, maybe you don't use the comms anymore, you'll want these. I'm gonna put them right back in the box that the SC2 came in. Before you put the comm unit in, you have to connect the antennas. And there's two connectors on here and there's two connectors in here. There's a little tab that helps keep them tucked up so you wanna pull that tab out and then you can remove the antenna connections themselves. You gotta take the little rubber covers off. There's two covers on the helmet side and there are two covers on the comm unit side. You wanna save those as well. Now, it, here's an important thing to notice. The connectors are different shapes. So this should prevent you from connecting them improperly. I say should because if you're really committed, you can do just about anything. But if you want to do it right, pay attention to which one goes where. And then it's just a matter of connecting. They snap together. I know it's hard to see this and I apologize, but there's a little, there we go. You got want to hear the click and that's how you know they're in there good. All right, 
And then you'll want to, you gotta kinda tuck this back up under there and reseat the retention strap because that's gonna help keep some pressure on the whole thing when you, oh, I've got it upside down. Huh. Once you get the retention strap where it's supposed to be, then this should just use the hooks and it clicks right in. So then you can charge it right here. Okay, so once you have the comm unit installed and the remote installed, the last thing that you have to do is install the microphone. So this cover pulls out and it, it is a little harder than it looks because the plug is kind of deep. That's probably half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. So it goes in farther than you think it's going to. And you want to set that aside, put it back in the box with the other, with the other covers. Put the covers back in where the units came out. And then I'm going to put the safety paperwork. And once I've got it all connected to the app and all that stuff, I'll put this back in there as well. And then put that in the helmet box in a safe place. And that plug goes in the same way the other one came out. It goes straight in. You just want to orient it properly and click it into place. And then this is flexible. You take one of the one of the little boom covers. There we go. It's got a very small opening to help keep it in place. And then there's a little tiny hook on either side to help keep it secure as well. So you want to pull it down until it goes over those little hooks. And that will keep it hopefully from migrating anywhere. Just make sure it's all the way down and you should be all right. And then that's what it looks that's what it looks like. And then you want to position this by your mouth so that when you close the helmet, it's not in the way. And that's it. Now all I have to do is adjust the strap so that it fits my face and tuck this or cut this off. Although it's a safety label, I probably shouldn't cut it off. And then I'll be able to start using the helmet. Well, I'm gonna charge it up first. I'll charge that and uh, I'll read in the book how to connect it to the app. It tells you right on the very first page, there you go, download the app. Thanks for checking out this video on the brand new Schubert C5. This is a really fantastic looking helmet. I can't wait to try it out. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can, and we will see you out there somewhere on the road or off it. Take it easy.